The Kreutzer Sonata is a novella published in 1889 and written by Leo Tolstoy. Upon publication, the Russians immediately censored it because of the fierceness of its ideas and in-depth exploration of themes of lust, the hypocrisies of marriage, and jealous rage. The story is still important today since it broadens our understanding of the author. We find ourselves on a train and witness a discussion between a middle-aged lady and an old merchant on the topic of whether or not a divorce should be allowed. They breach such issues as if education is of any use and why marriage might be much better. They also argue about whether or not love should be present in a marriage. Their talk has people sitting close by offering their opinion. One person doesn't get involved. When the people suddenly hear him speak a remark about love and marriage being incompatible, they quickly gather that he's embittered and may have gotten some harsh lessons in the past. He starts his story by saying he lived a self-indulgent life, even though he, for a time, deceived himself into thinking he was an upright and moral person. He went from woman to woman, never seeing women in any other light than things to feast over and conquer. But then he fell in love and married, which confronted him for the first time with feelings of jealousy. Arguments about the smallest things became the new normal. In his mind, Poznashev envisioned how he could get rid of her and free himself of her bickering and unpleasant remarks. When she left the house, it made him feel a conflict between his apparent anger for her, but at the same time, he was unable to stop himself from feeling concerned about where she was and with who. Yet, the bickering they did went together slowly but surely intensified to make it unsupportable. Then the married couple met a music teacher called Truhachevsky. His wife instantly liked him and he became her teacher to which Poznashev himself insisted. The teacher was polite and had an exquisite air about him, while at the same time having made his wife and you feel some sort of passion. Poznashev sensed this, of course, and feared it. But he didn't show this outwardly. He even went out of his way to invite him to elaborate dinners with finely selected wines. All this in the hope it would show that he wasn't scared of his opponent. When one day he enters while the teacher is playing the piano and she is standing at the piano in awe, his feelings evolve into pity for himself and anger. Their calm behavior, as of nothing had happened, made his outrage even greater. When Truhachevsky left, he saw him off in cordial fashion. He then expressed his anger to his wife, and when she recalled an incident where he behaved rudely to her sister, he became hysterical. When she left, he was still furious, which only settled down in the morning. On Sunday, his wife and Truhachevsky bundled forces to play the Kreutzer Sonata by Beethoven for a gathering of guests. It made Poznashev see how awful music can be if presented and performed on the wrong occasion. This piece of music had grandeur, which was being disregarded by this performance. When Poznashev left for the country the next day, he received a seemingly innocent letter from his wife, mentioning that the teacher had brought the promised notes. This mention stirred his jealousy and had his mind racing again until he could no longer take it and headed home. Upon entering his house, he saw Truhachevsky's overcoat and was suddenly convinced of their guilt. He took a dagger and entered the room where they were and the teacher realized the danger and took off while Poznashev's wife was trying to tell him nothing was going on. He choked her and finally plunged a dagger into her. After this, he goes to his room, sitting there in silence, trying to stop his mind from racing. When he hears a knock at the door, his wife's sister tells him that his wife is dying. He gets up and goes to her. Seeing her wounded, he had expected he would beg for forgiveness, yet in her eyes, he saw a deep hatred that stopped him from doing so. She died that same day, at noon. He only started to realize the lewdness of his actions after a few days at her funeral. He did something that could never be undone. Then trial, prison, and everlasting remorse became his reality, 
which cannot be explained to people without the same experience. Our stranger had shared his story, but did he feel better because of it? The end of his tale was met with a resounding silence. If you'd like to suggest which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.